that I love you. Know that I have your back. Know that because of what I've done, your sins are forgiven. Know that I'm with you. I love you. Abide in me because I am already abiding with you. But if you choose to not abide in me, then he says we wither. Withering does not sound good. I know when I cut off branches of trees and things and they lay there on the ground and they wither and the beautiful leaves get dry and crumble. I know sometimes in my life I feel as if I am one of those branches. That life is dry. I might feel cut off. I might feel as if I am no longer a part. And in those times I need I need to be reminded. Pray. Abide in me, Jesus says. I want you to abide in me. I want you to have the life I have prepared for you. So I have two choices there as I lay withering on the ground. Continue to go, forget it, Lord, just forget it. I've got this. Or I can say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for my stubbornness. Forgive me for my waywardness. Forgive me for my selfishness. Forgive me for all the times and ways that I've turned my back on you. Lord, teach me to abide in you. Teach me, Lord. Teach me. So what does abiding look like, too? Abiding also looks like us singing that little song. Not the first one, that's a different Sunday morning. I'll sing that one for you. But the other one. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Love one another. What does love one another look like? How do you treat one another? But more than how do you treat one another, what do you think about one another? I mean, I know there's sometimes you're not happy with each other, right? I know there's times in which we're not pleased with each other's attitudes or actions. I know because I am the same way. How does it work? How do I love one another? I say, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord, to love as you have loved me. Help me, Lord, to love this person. Although I might not like what they're doing or saying, help me, Lord, to love them like you have loved me because, Lord, you loved me before I got right with you. You were abiding in me, Lord, long before I ever thought it was necessary for me to abide in you. So, Lord, teach me to love as you love. And for that person that's driving me nuts, Lord, I pray that you change me towards them. I pray that you would bless them. Because maybe, Lord, what they need is a blessing in their life. Maybe they need to have the right door open or the right window to pop up. Maybe, Lord, they just need somebody to pray for them. So, Lord, bless them. But also, Lord, help me. Give me the patience because that is one of the fruits that you give. Give me the patience, Lord, so that I can treat them not as I'd like to treat them. Help me, Lord, to treat them with love and respect and honor because they are created in your image, Lord. They bear your image, Lord. And in fact, Jesus suffered and died for them just as much as he suffered and died and rose again for me. So help me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, to love them as you have loved me.
And the only true way that I can do that is by abiding in you as you have abided in me. Lord, teach us to abide in you. Help us, Lord, because we need it so that we can be so bound together that I don't know what type of filter it would take to separate the two of us back apart. Lord, help me be a reflection of you. Help me abide in you and you and me and make us inseparable. Please pray with me. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus to suffer and die in our place. Thank you, Lord, that you are abiding in us. Lord, help us. Help us to connect to that. Help us to abide with you. Help us to be so connected to you, Lord, that that it's not us that they see, but it is you that they see through our love and our words and our actions, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, when we fall short and help us, Lord, when we find ourselves in those places where we are dry and brittle to come to you and ask for repentance, Lord, to, to give us new life, to reconnect with you, Lord, because with you there is grace and hope and peace and love through you alone, O oh God, help us, Lord, to abide in you. Change us, Lord. Make us inseparable from your love and grace. And teach us to love as you have loved us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you to stand as we confess our Christian faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. We confess, I believe in one God. Well, let me see maker of heaven and earth. Please be seated. At this time, we will collect our offerings.
Let us pray for the whole church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Lord God, your only Son came in the flesh to bear our sin and to be our Savior. Protect us from all false teachings and the spirit of the Antichrist, that we may always confess Christ to be our only true God and remain faithful to him. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, Lord, for all who are sick or hospitalized or those who are requesting prayers, especially we pray for Dennis, Riley, Bob, Eileen, John, Taya, Kathy, Barb, CJ, Joanne, Derek, Chris, Jackie, Diane, Charlie, and all others that we hold in our hearts, Lord. We pray that you would bring healing and strength, Lord, in your mercy. We pray that you would bless Joanne, Andrew, Rob, Spencer, Ava, Brooklyn, Lucas, Stephanie, Judy, Jackie, and Sharon as they celebrate birthdays this week, and for Keith and Cindy as they celebrate their anniversary. Remind every one of us, Lord, that every day is a gift from you, Lord, in your mercy. We pray, Lord, that you would be with President Biden, Governor Walls, and all of the elected officials of our nation we pray that you would keep them safe. We pray that you would guide them and use them, Lord, in the way and the purpose for which you have placed them in office. We pray, Lord, that you would be with our military men and women around the world, our police officers, firefighters, EMSs, all who put themselves in harm's way for the benefits of others. Give them courage and strength, Lord. Keep them safe, Lord, in your mercy. Lord, we pray for the conflict in Israel. Lord, we pray for the conflict in Ukraine. Lord, we know that there are times in which pruning takes place. And Lord, we don't understand exactly what's going on or why, but Lord, we know that you are God of all. And we pray, Lord, that you would, would be proclaimed and praised in all things, even in times of sorrow and sadness and anger. Lord, we pray that you would bring peace because you are the Prince of Peace. And Lord, we know that Jesus has come as the one and only peace. So Lord, we pray that in all of the nations around our globe that are in conflict, that your name would be praised, that Jesus would be proclaimed as the Savior of the world, and that through him, love and peace would abide. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, we pray for those who are struggling especially with depression or anxiety. We also pray, Lord, for those who are stuck in addictions and trapped by the lies of this world. Lord, remind all of us that you are abiding in us, that you are with us. Give us courage and strength, Lord, to hold fast to your words and your teachings, that we would be found faithful and that we would receive your joy and peace and forgiveness and life. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, Lord, that you be with all who mourn. We pray especially for Joe Johnson and his family as they prepare to lay his father to rest to tomorrow afternoon. We pray, Lord, that you would bring comfort and peace to all who mourn. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, Lord, that you would be with those who are incarcerated and for their families. And also, Lord, we need to be praying for those for whom they have offended, for those they have hurt, and their families. Lord, Lord, this world is filled with sin, and there are so many different ways in which we find to sin. Some that offend and hurt others deeply. Lord, we pray that you would be with all of us, those who are offenders and those who have been offended that you would be with us, Lord, all, that we would find comfort and peace in your word and forgiveness in the death and resurrection of your son, Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, Lord, that you would be with us as a congregation, that you would use us to proclaim your love and grace and forgiveness in our community. We pray, Lord, that you would have us to be examples of your love so that others would not see us, but see your good works and give you praise. 
Because, Lord, without you, we cannot do anything. We are like those branches that have been cut off. Teach us, Lord, to abide in you and you in us. Lord, in your mercy. Holy Father, you are gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Hear and answer our prayers for the sake of Jesus Christ, and your saints shall bless you. For you live and reign with the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. We sing our closing hymn, Abide With Me.